five years ago, I put on a red flannel shirt and I went out to a bar with my friends. I'll always remember the first time I saw you. You walked in the bar and immediately nothing else in the world mattered to me. I couldn't tell what music was playing or what I had ordered. I was too fixated on the girl with the most gorgeous smile I'd ever seen. I was starstruck by my own soulmate, and I didn't even know it yet. Thank God you came to talk to me first, because, to be honest, I know, I know, I, I know, I say I would have made the first move if you had given me the chance, but I thought you were so entirely out of my league, so out of my league that we weren't even playing the same sport. And I think that's even more apparent today. You look absolutely flawless. As the night went along, Laura actually made the first move and uh, told Donovan that she liked his shirt. Donovan wasn't expecting this at all, so the first words to Laura were, thanks. It's kind of an old shirt. <laughs> it's kind of an old shirt. <laughs> Three dates after we met, we were at the Italian restaurant where the woman would come around and walk around with a book of songs and sing to the tables. It's not exactly my cup of tea, but you seem to be into it. But then you stopped her and told her she was doing a great job, and eventually you asked if she had Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas on her song list. You proceeded to stand up at our table and sing the entire song to the rest of the crowded restaurant. Now normally I'd just about die in that situation. <laughs> but something very strange happened. I felt like I was right where I was supposed to be. Looking up at you, singing your heart out to a bunch of confused strangers. <laughs> I'd never seen anything like it. And I knew right there, only three dates in, that no matter how crazy it seemed, I was already falling head over and heels in love with you. And Laura, your bridesmaids, they described you as. They said that you are kind and compassionate. They said that you're beautiful and lovely. On the inside and out, you are stunning. You care for others well. <laughs> okay, Laura, I'm gonna lose it now. You look so beautiful. So as I look at you today, just an amazingly beautiful bride. I can't help but think about all the times we've shared, all the years. Uh, to my father, of all the walks we've taken together, this will be the one I remember forever. Today I'm a bride, <sighs> tomorrow a wife, but I'm always your little girl for life. Love you, daughter. Laura is the light of my life for 28 years, and I'm handing her over to Donovan now. Um, I know you'll love and cherish her as much as I do. I feel so lucky knowing that I'm marrying the most considerate man I know. A man who heard a story one time of a beloved snow globe I had as a kid that broke, who somehow found it online and surprised me with it on Christmas. Donovan, aside from her stunning beauty, you see Laura's most beautiful quality the light and warmth she brings to any that cross her path. Thank you for letting her light shine. And so Donovan, your groomsmen, they described you as intelligent and talented. You work hard at everything you do and you do it well. You're humble and respectful. You treat others how you want to be treated. Donovan, you have a heart of gold and never fail to show me how much you adore and cherish me. I feel so privileged knowing someone as rare and special as you chose me. I know one day that you will be the most incredible father because I was lucky enough to see it within. But grieving with you and losing with you only made me more sure that we are made for each other. I now know that I could never recognize my, my life without you in it. I would become a stranger to myself without you. You have made me feel more loved than I ever thought possible. Today I give you all that I am and all that I have. 
I vow to keep exploring the world with you until we can no longer walk. <laughs> I vow to watch the sunset with you until we can no longer see. In a million lifetimes, on any plane of existence, I would find you and I would choose you. For the last time, with your maiden name, Laura Christine Monti, I have and always will unequivocally love you most. I want to kiss you. <laughs> Today, I truly get to marry my best friend. I spend every day with you, and it doesn't seem like enough. I laugh with you like no one else, and our inside jokes and what if scenarios make me wonder how I ever lived without that much consistent laughter. I don't think I've ever told you this. It's the story of when Donna first told me about it. My wife and I love her. I was like, alright, well, she's like, she's perfect. She loves the Dodgers. I like how he leads with she loves the Dodgers. That was the first thing he said. You know, I knew uh, right from the beginning, I knew you were undoubtedly perfect for Laura because you barely said a word. And it was, what, what surprised me was the day after he met you. He was so proud to show you up. The day after. He, he was smitten, for sure. He knows you show me there's life outside of California. <laughs> yes, there is. Like, I know life with you will never be boring. Whether you're popping out from around a corner to scare me, or checking off more on our bucket list than I ever thought possible. I am truly looking forward to the day we roll up blasting old rap music to pick up our kids at middle school and really embarrass the crap out of them. They will probably be mortified by our constant public display of affection, but I hope they look to us as the exact kind of love they aspire to have one day. I thought I have that extra bottle of wine ready to go when your students are being extra difficult. <laughs> I vow to see all the superhero movies with you right when they come out. And to love Batman the most because he's your favorite. I vow to, I vow to not complain too much when you want to go see the latest scary movie, no matter how horrible it is. And most importantly, I vow to remain just as smitten and absolutely crazy about you as I am now. I declare that you, Donovan, and Laura are now husband and wife. Donovan, because you do a and Mrs. Donovan Olsen! I never want us to forget how truly lucky we are. You are my one